Welcome to Dance Mogul Magazine. We are live in New York City with Michael and Janine, co-writers of the movie High Strung. Janine, can you just give us some background information about yourself? Um, yes, I started as a dancer. My mother was my ballet teacher and um, my sister and I, when I was two and a half and she was three and a half, instead of a babysitter, my, my mother just brought us to the, to the school and we started dance at that young age. So it's a huge part of who I am. Um, and uh, I was very fortunate when I was 14 to receive a scholarship from School of American Ballet and uh, I moved to New York City when I was 16 to, um, to I started out going in the summers and then I moved for the full year when I was 16 years old away from my family and I was from Mississippi so it was a little bit of a culture shock um, and my school was in the Juilliard building so we had um, you know, all our friends and everybody that we were hanging out with were all Juilliard students and very intense classical musicians um, as we were intense classical dancers. So um, that was basically, you know, the beginning of my career and then I became, um, then I moved to Los Angeles and became a jazz dancer on television and films and um, had a wonderful, uh, phenomenal time, you know, dancing uh, as a profession before I got into filmmaking with Michael. Tell him, so. you left out like half the good stuff. Oh, wow. I have to do her credits. She landed, <laughs> she landed the, the biggest hit show for dancers of all time back then. It was called Solid Gold. Yes. She was a Solid Gold dancer on the show. Oh. And then she went on to dance with Michael Jackson, yes. and Captain EO, Prince. Oh, wow. Uh, Lionel Richie, that. Footloose, uh, Annie, the, the movie. I mean, she was like, you know, worked with uh, Barry Levinson and Bugsy and tons of great films, oh, Oscars, Grammys, American Music Awards. <laughs> I mean, she was like the go-to dancer for so many years. Uh, and so really her whole entire life has been about dance. She's very humble, by the way. That's why I got to, yeah, that's no, why I have to, I have to give you the credits on her. No, that's yeah, so well, his good. credits are way longer that's, than that's, mine. No, so. that's so good. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay, and now, Michael, can you just, the, the younger generation, we always would like to include them and introduce them to, okay. to artists. Okay, so way, way back, many centuries ago, <laughs> I, uh, I come from the uh, music world. My mother is a concert pianist, and she taught all nine of my, eight of my brothers and sisters, I'm number, I'm number nine, uh, music, <clears throat> and we were a family band for, for, for many, many years, sort of like the Osmonds, but more of us. And uh, then I got a break. I had a record, a hit record when I was uh, 16 called She Did It. Uh, I landed American Bands, American Bandstand. I was on the show and Dick Clark uh, was so you know, generous and so helpful. Um, and the producers of Young and the Restless, the uh, soap opera saw me on American Bandstand and they came up with the character Danny Romolati, a singer, struggling you know, singer, waiter. And they asked me um, if I knew how to act. And I, of course, said, yes, I can act. <laughs> I'm acting right now. <laughs> uh, so um, it was really going to be just a summer, uh, a summer three-month uh, gig. And uh, it turned into about close to 20 years. Mm -hmm. uh, but what was really cool about the show is that it allowed me, uh, because I'm a musician, they, they allowed my, I sang my character as a singer. Uh, I was able to, to record, go on tour, promote my records. And uh, it was really great, and fly back and forth through the show, and uh, had some, you know, hits in the '80s. A uh, number one record called "Rock On," uh, which was my dream was to have a number one record, so that was pretty wow. cool. And uh, then um, went on and uh, started on Broadway uh, as Joseph in Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dreamcoat. Uh, mm -hmm. Worked with Andrew Lloyd Webber, uh, one of the greatest, you know. Uh, Greatest composers of musical, you know, the music musicals of our generation, and so, um, you know, I come from basically the acting music world, and uh, then I transitioned into filmmaking uh, over the last ten years, and directing was my new passion, and uh, you know, just it's so great because I get to work with, you know, actors and composers and all the people that I've, you know, been been around for so many years. So uh, it's sort of just an extended family in the. Uh, in the uh, film industry. So thank you for that. So the um, the, the the passion and desire to, to make a, to write a movie, it, it basically is a reflection of the individual lives that you guys have, have lived in some sort of way. Exactly. Well, absolutely. And I think what happened is, is that because um, dance is so strong in my background and music is in, in Michael's, um, we kind of had gotten away from it a little bit because it, as filmmakers we were getting into other genres of, yeah. um, of films and 
we both wanted to kind of get back to our roots. At least, especially me, Michael is able to continue working in music and he's very hev heavily in, involved in all the music in all of the films that we do. But for me, I always try to sneak a little dance number in wherever I can. But this one is, <laughs> you know, this one we got to sneak 13 yeah. dance numbers in. Yeah. So, um, no, it's, High, High Strung is really Janine's, you know, passion and, and her, her, you know, love for dance and, you know, which is our character Ruby. And mine is the musician side, Johnny, yeah. which is the passion and the love for music. And we want to make a movie of dance and music, the fusion, because as you know, they can't, one can't really live without the other, or at least, you know, uh, with, with music, when you bring dance to it, it's, it's like, it, it's a whole nother, whole nother world. And so we really wanted to make a film of, that combined both of our, our loves. Yes, and I took, I, I got that from the movie. But I wanted to just talk real briefly about the creative process for young and upcoming artists that would like to achieve some of the things that you guys have done. When you sat down to start painting the, the information for the movie, what was your initial, did you have an initial thought? Or did it sort of come to you? Or did you want to teach um, a, um uh, empowerment from the beginning in terms of perseverance and love and passion and respect and all the things that you know that people were able to take away from the movie well um, you know there's a, a, a great a great I can't remember who said it but there was a great writer that said write what you know and we had some really great role models our parents who are who were our teachers and then we had our teachers in school and that were you know taught you dance at the uh, School of American Ballet mm -hmm. And I had, you know, musician t uh, teachers, great teachers that worked with me, and we really had to work hard. And they, you know, and I think that the biggest thing is you really have to study and work as hard as you can, uh, as you know, immediately, you know, right out of the box. And and if you take it up now, great. It's just really you've got to put in the time uh, and really work hard, um, and uh, just don't expect people to hand you anything. And, and don't take no for an answer, you know what I mean? When yeah. you really want something, just just go for it. And I think that's something that, that's sort of a, a thread that we put, we try to put in all of our movies is, <clears throat> is positive messages, um, inspirational yeah. um, thoughts, and also that, you know, hard work and perseverance wins yes. out. So I think in every film, when we sit down to start to write, we always want it to be some somehow inspiring. and. Yes in the end that you walk out feeling good or hopeful or inspired in some way. So that would definitely be one of the one of the things that we sat down yeah. and we had in our heads before we ever started. And we definitely we kind of put together an, a story idea before we start writing about yeah. what's it about, where are we going with it? Yeah. And then we let it um, the characters actually take over. Yeah. Um, once we once we get them established, then they just kind of we wake up to them every morning. They wake yeah. us up. We, we, <laughs> What, the writing process really is it's, it's amazing because our characters we work for them mm -hmm. and they start telling us what to do mm -hmm. and we start well, you know, okay you know and, and we have this dialogue back and forth and we play the different characters you know and we run the scenes while we're writing and we just have a it's really a really it's a super fun creative process and you know we, we just love what we're doing mm -hmm. and we're really thrilled that we're able to do what we're doing and we encourage young people to work hard and you know Find a way, find a solution. You can you can make it happen. We didn't have anybody really to give us any breaks. As far as we we weren't born in a, in, in a born into a situation where we just had everything handed to us, and all these great connections. So we really had to get out there and find them for ourselves. And especially nowadays with with the technology today and, yes. and the internet and how you can you can find out all kinds of really great things. Yes. Uh, it can also make you lazy. So you gotta find a way yeah. to really work hard and don't just yeah. be relying on it. Utilize it for good. I think yeah. another thing is that Michael is such an inspiration is, is that because he did start out as a musician and he turned into an actor and then at the time, they really liked to put you into a little category or exactly. put you in a box. And once he got into the acting box, then it's like, oh, well, if you, you can't have a number one record because now you're acting, you need to be struggling, you know, musician. And Michael's like, no, I want to do both. And then when he wanted to do Broadway, it's like, but you can't because you're an actor, you know, on a television show and Broadway is legit theater. And so he, he just kind of likes to push boundaries. And I think that that's something that for the youth today that um, I think that the industry is much more open-minded um, to blending genres, blending, you know, everything in dance, in music, in, um, in film and television. Whereas before it's like, if you're in television, you're yeah. there. If you're in film, you're there. Yeah. So that's a, that's something that they really have, they can use to their advantage. But 
don't let anybody put you into a box really like push and think about how you can create for yourself you can yeah. create like we created create this film we created this job for ourselves yeah. yeah that's something that my dad taught me uh he taught me no matter what it is no matter how small it is you have to always complete what you start doesn't matter what it is always finish what you start wow because if you leave a bunch of things unfinished it's amazing how they can add up and then it can create a pattern in your life and it's great to just finish whatever it is. And that's a good message for young people. Before we um, continue, I want to, um, the name High Strung, I want to make sure that, you know, I ask that question. How did you come, you know, to that name? Janine, she comes up with all our cool titles. <laughs> well, we wanted something that, um, that actually had a connection with dancers and music. And being that Johnny's a violinist, obviously the strings, um, and then, also the strings of your heart and and also the very um i think that that young artists can be very high strung and 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 yeah. their nerves can be pulled tight you can be you know pushing and so i think that it was just a little bit of you know a little double entendre and plus the, plus the young and the restless was already taken yes so we had to go high strung <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> no it's, it's, it's a good name to conclude is there anyone that you'd like to thank uh we just want to thank our amazing our, parents, our parents for our sure parents. They, 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 without them, I mean, they supported us. They've given us all the tools and loved us, and, and we're so grateful. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations on your premiere April 8th. Well, thank you thank so Thank you. Much. We're thank really you. excited. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Dance Mogul. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Love that. your magazine. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs>